four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Mike Heading here. Today I've got the banjo classic Cripple Creek in the key of A. This is a must know for any bluegrass banjo player and I'm going to break down three different versions starting with a very basic one and then two variations kind of on the basic melody. This is a really good one to have a couple versions of and then I'm going to show you how to combine all three versions together to create even your own version. I'm also going to do a whole lesson on how to play back up to this song. So let's break down the tune. Here's Cripple Creek in the key of A. All right, so let me play the first two measures of Cripple Creek, and then I'll break it down. Remember, I've got my capo on the second fret, and I've got my fifth string uh, capoed up two as well. So we're playing out of the key of G, but it's going to sound like the key of A. Okay, here we go. One more time. Okay, so we're going to start with a very standard 2-5 to five slide on the first string. And I'd recommend using your second finger of your left hand, so your middle finger. I think that's going to set you up to go into the C chord in measure 2. So let's just practice doing that 2-5 slide, and I'm going to play that note with the middle finger of my right hand. So we're counting 1 and... And then once we get up there, we're going to pinch the outside string, so 5th string and 1st string. And that's just the, it's the same note, so it's a, so we're sliding up and then we're pinching, so one and two, so it's an eighth note slide, one and two, so my recommendation there is don't slide too quick, let that first note ring out a little bit, if you did just the right hand it'd be, so one, two, so one, and then we're going to do open first string, and then open second string. And with my right hand there, I did middle finger, and then index. So the whole measure one sounds like this. And they're basically with your right hand, you're doing quarter notes. So one, two, three, four. And the kind of the common, most common mistake I see with this song is people just rushing that part too quickly. Because um, you got to play eighth notes after that. So if you do this part too quick, you know, you might be able to do that part quick, but then you have to do the next part twice as fast. So make sure you don't do this part, the, the um, initial opening line, too quickly. So one more time. One more. So use those open strings to bring your hand back down and we're going to get our first finger and our third finger ready to go into our C chord. So first fret on the second string and second fret on the first string. And then I'm going to do a forward roll, strings three, two, one. And then one more fifth string. So I did T-I-M-T -T there, so with my right hand. Thumb, index, middle, thumb. And then I'm going to hit the open first string. And then I'm going to pinch. Let's practice measure two on its own. So it's one and two and three, four. So that's where, where I was talking about going into the eighth notes there. So those, those eighth notes are twice as fast as the quarter notes. They take up half the amount of time. So two eighth notes takes up one quarter note. So it's one and two and three, four. Okay, let's play the first two together. So it's one and two. that a few times. One more. Remember
remember, don't do that first. Don't do the first part too quick. Okay, so that's our opening melody line. Now here's measure three. So we're gonna do a very standard alternating thumb roll. So three, two, five, one. the roll we're doing with our right hand we're gonna, just going to do a two three slide on the third string so one and two and that's a good one to loop we're going to use that a lot in this song so i'm lighting that slide up with right when i hit the index finger so one and and you could go all the way up to a four um if you just slide to three it's a little bluesier but you could also slide all the way up to four they're kind of interchangeable so i'm going one and two Again, same with our slide at the beginning. Don't slide too quick. One and two and three and four and. Just go back to the right hand if you're in doubt. There's no pause in the right hand. Or just do the second fret on, on the third string. You know, the hardest part about this song, especially if you're a beginner, is getting your two hands to operate independently. So we need our right hand to keep moving either, even if we don't perfectly execute that slide. So that's one and two and three and four and. Now here's measure four. We're going to do a little pull off. This is a little ending lick. So I'm going to do a three two pull off on the third string and then hit the open second string. So these are 16th, a 16th note pull off. So we're going one E and. So we're actually getting three notes there. Three, one E and. Instead of one and. So we're not doing an eighth note pull off, we're doing a sixteenth note. So get three notes there. And the way you count that is one E and. So one E and. And I'm using my first and, and second finger there. Because that's going to free my third finger up to reach down to the fourth fret of the fourth string. And then I'll play that with my thumb and my right hand. And then open first string with my middle. And then open third string with my thumb. And then one more pinch. So we're going... So one E and two and three, four. Again, if you're in doubt, just focus on the right hand. So I'm just pretending they're all zeros. So let's put three and four together. 